Okay, but <laughs> take take a hundred, come to Russia, in <laughs> in the West. I mean, I believe for, I mean, I believe in retail in general. As I see, the next decade or two would be quite uh, inflationary worldwide, uh, and uh, so I, I think it could be even kind of a catastrophic inflation worldwide. Uh, you know, euros, dollars, yen, all, all all kind of collapsing, and so I like retail as its uh, inflation protective environment, and then. Uh, I mean, I like Russia, it's, it's, it's kind of, I mean, I was born there, I know the country, and uh, in, in, in the Europe or in the US for us, it's, it's, I would say, kind of unnecessary, unnecessary difficult. So, 100 so million will work for Russia, you can multiply it, you know, probably tenfold, twentyfold, inflation adjusted, and, uh, you know, you do something with 400, you go with bonds, you know, kind of. Okay, I will. <laughs> inflation protected. I will, I will do that. Kim, how would you invest on my behalf? Um, uh, I like shopping centres in southern Europe, particularly in the more affluent areas. So I think if you're looking at Spain, northern Spain rather than southern Spain, um, we like uh, convenience retail in Germany, you know, anchored by supermarkets, uh, very solid performing, quite, ni quite nice to yield on those. Uh, and particularly in, in Western Europe in general, schemes that haven't had a lot of love but have that dominant position in, in the hierarchy because there are, there are owners who haven't been able to invest in them since the financial crisis, uh, and, but they have that important uh, situation in their, you know, the unique position in their urban environment and, and you do a bit of value add there and then you've got a bit of, you've got your security of income, you've got your growth story and you've got your value add. Very good. John? Um, so I completely agree with that last point uh, about schemes which are fundamentally good but haven't had capex um, and, and could be made a lot better. Um, but to choose a geography, I'm going to take you to Italy. Um, <laughs> Italy uh, hasn't had the, hasn't come under the focus so much as Spain and some of the other markets. Uh, at least nominally yields are much higher and, and haven't had yield compression we've seen in a lot of the other markets. It's not overbuilt. Uh, there is a very wealthy um, private consumer in a lot of uh, the cities, which to a large extent is, is, is untapped. And if we get a little bit adventurous, we might even venture down and put some of it in southern Italy, where you could get a very significant yield. You're going to worry a little bit about where your exit is. But if the market continues to go in the right way, then you can make a lot of money. Okay, good. Andy? Uh, I'm going to assume that you're a low-risk, long-term investor, Richard. Good, <laughs> yes. Um, and I would suggest that you invest your 500 in cities. So going back to that urbanization thing, a uh, common thread, uh, long-term winners, I think, lies in good stock selection in cities urban fulfillment centers, you might all call them. So <laughs> I'd be looking for five or six shopping centers for your, for your 500, uh, things where you'll get an income coupon of five, five plus. And I'd start by geography with the three big markets, which are UK, France, and Germany. And then in the second tier, I'd be looking, yes, also in Italy, uh, and also in Poland. Great, thank you. Florencia? Yeah, I'm going to assume you like a little bit of risk and you want more Do you know, value now, for now, your return. Now, now, you know? now, I'm you want feeling a bit more risky now. You, you, yeah. you want a bit more return. Our, our fees are quite high, but anyway, I think you're going to pay those. And, um, I'm very comfortable with that, Florencia. That's <laughs> So for that, I, I would uh, propose that you would invest on a three, or f three to five year horizon and you're going to go for where inflation is there. So that's going to be Poland, Sweden and Germany and you're going to be uh, buying short leases in those markets to be able to renew rents above inflation. So you're going to be beating inflation where you have a differential in inflation. Uh, and you're also going to be investing uh, on markets like Italy and Portugal for yield compression. Great. Thank you. Marcel? I would spend um, half and make the best shopping centers better, uh, unbeatable. And the, re the remainder I would spend in one of the capital cities, preferably Stockholm. Thanks very much for coming and thank you very much to the panel for what I think was a, a really interesting discussion. Thank you. <laughs>